Oriental James Simpson, the former NFL star, actor, broadcaster, and convicted armed robber and kidnapper, murdered his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, along with her friend, Ronald. <laughs> he was born on July 9th, 1947, in San Francisco, California. It was his aunt who named him Oriental after a French actor she looked up to. The Rising Star's parents separated in 1952. He was raised by his mother along with his brother and two sisters. Ten years later, at the age of 13, he joined a gang called Persian Warriors. After a fight, he found himself in San Francisco Youth Guidance Center for nearly a week. Simpson played football at Galileo High School in San Francisco. He attended San Francisco City College from 1965 to 1966 to achieve a scholarship record that allowed him to play at University of South Carolina. OJ became a halfback for the USC Trojans and saw a glimpse of fame when he set NCAA records and won the Heinzman Trophy in 1968. He became running back who was most known for his speed in 1973. He became the first NFL player to rush more than 2,000 yards in a single season. The following clips are some of his best plays. After retiring from his NFL career in 1979, Simpson tried a career as a sports newscaster and an actor. In the beginning of his new career as an actor, he played a man framed for murder by the police in the 1974 film The Clans Man. He worked as a commentator for Monday Night Football and the NFL on the NBC brand. From observing Simpson throughout his years in the public spotlight, people noticed Simpson seemed to carry a sense of entitlement. They also said that he appears to show little concern for other people. One clinical psychologist described Simpson as a sociopath, meaning someone who has little to no regard for moral or legal standards and inability to follow societal rules. And five kids. Four are still alive today. He first married Marguerite L. Whitley on June 24th, 1967. They had three children together. Arnell, Jason, and Aren. His daughter, Aren Simpson, was born in 1977. She died one month before her second birthday when she drowned in the family's swimming pool. The couple then divorced two years later in 1979. While OJ was still married to his first wife, he met a waitress named Nicole Brown, who was just a teenager at the time. Simpson then married Nicole in 1985, the same year he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. They had two children together, Justin and Sydney. Brown Simpson sought out friends and family to complain about her marriage. She told them that Simpson was often physically abusive. After one of the couple's major fights at a 1989 New Year's Eve party, he threatened to kill her. OJ pleaded no contest to spousal battery. He brushed off the incident in an interview in ESPN saying we had a fight, we're both guilty, no one was hurt. It was no big deal, we got on with our lives. She filed for divorce in 1992. On June 12, 1994, the bodies of Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman were found stabbed to death outside her condo in the Los Angeles Brentwood area. Evidence led the police to suspect suspect that Simpson was responsible for the murders. The police ordered Simpson to surrender by 11 a.m. on June 17th, but instead he vanished. Later that day, he made a call from his phone and was tracked down on the Santa Ana freeway. The police chased him, leading to a nationally televised slow speed chase. He was in a white Ford Bronco that belonged to an ex-NFL player, Al Cowlings, who was at the wheel while Simpson was in the back seat. Simpson finally surrendered voluntarily on the evening of June 17th at his Brentwood mansion. He was found in possession of a gun, his passport, and $9,000 in cash and had a disguise. He, he insisted that he wasn't running. Later, he pleaded absolutely positively 100% not guilty to the murder charges. 
Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles, in the matter of the people of the state of California versus Orenthal James Simpson, case number BA097211. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson, a human being, as charged in count one of the information. Superior Court of the State of California, County of Los Angeles, in the matter of the people of the State of California versus Orenthal James Simpson. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Ronald Lyle Goldman, a human being, as charged in count two of the information. Entirely we, along with the rest of the country, saw this verdict as you saw it, and the jury has spoken. Uh, our audience has been here most of the morning waiting to see the verdict, and lots of people, as you saw, had some pretty strong reactions. Obviously, you're very happy. I'm very happy for his family, for his children. I'm very happy. I'm also very happy. I think justice was served. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll try to let you have not everyone here is happy, however. Not everyone here is happy. I, I notice that you are not. No, I'm not happy. I just think it's, it's just unfair. Every, they know I feel so bad for her. She's in, I just feel like she's rolling over in her grave. And, and he got, she said if he ever did it, he would get away with it. That's what she said. And he, he knows what he did. He did we that. will be right back. What is we've concluded with? Do you think this man is innocent? No. Why would he be on the run from the cops if he so-called was 100% innocent? Everything isn't lining up. Simpson's trial for the murders was known as the trial of the century. Opening statements started on January 24th, 1995 and lasted until Simpson's acquittal on October 3rd, 1995. Simpson created a dream team of lawyers to help with this case. This dream team cost him an estimated $50,000 a day, which Simpson reportedly paid for in a part by selling football souvenirs. The dream team was headed by Johnny Coltran, along with Robert Kardashian, Robert Shapiro, Barry Check, Alan Dershowitz, and F. Lee Bailey. The lead prosecutor, Marcia Clark, found physical evidence connecting OJ to the murders. She argued that a glove matching the one found near the dead bodies was discovered on Simpson's property. The DNA testing connected him to the bloodstains that were left behind. The sock of the victim, Nicole Brown, was also found on OJ's property with blood stained on. Simpson was brought back to court for a civil trial in February 1977. He was found liable for the wrongful deaths of Brown, Simpson, and Goldman. The court ordered him to pay their families $33.5 million in damages. Simpson was planning to publish a ghost-written book, If I Did It. This was a hypothetical account of how he would have committed the Brown, Simpson, and Goldman murders. After a publishing deal with HarperCollins fell through, a federal bankruptcy judge awarded the book's rights to the family of Goldman. The Goldman family added commentary to the work and retitled it, If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer. The book was published in September 2007. OJ is a very dangerous person and has done incriminating things even after the murders. He was back in the headlines after he allegedly attacked another driver in a road rage incident in December 2000. In 2007, a group of men led by O.J. Simpson were found guilty of robbing two sport dealers at gunpoint in a Las Vegas hotel room. Simpson, who was immediately taken into custody, told the police that he had just been trying to reclaim his possessions. He was originally held without the possibility of bail. In December 2008, Simpson and Stewart were sentenced to up to 33 years in prison with the possibility of parole after nine years. Simpson spent nearly nine years in prison for armed robbery and kidnapping. He was sentenced to prison on December 5, 2008 and was released on parole on October 5, 2017. On July 31st, 2013, Simpson's parole request was granted for five of the convictions that had landed him in prison in 2008, including two for kidnapping, two for robbery, and one for burglary with firearm. 
The Nevada Board of Parole Commissioners made the decision based on the lack of previous criminal convictions on Simpson's record, although he was forced to remain behind bars for related sentences. O.J. Simpson is found guilty for many criminal activities, including the murders of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman. He was clearly trying to run away the day after the murders, and physical evidence was found connecting him to the murders. O.J. is a dangerous person and continues to commit crimes since the murders.